Hello, fellow humans. Uh, today, I'm going to show you a new update for the zone, which I'm super excited about. In case you don't know, the zone is an annihilation stalker roadside picnic style horror where um, a group of folks uh, with broken lives enter a mutational zone and only one makes it to the magical center to see if they can get their ultimate wish delivered. And uh, in the last video, I um, demoed the fancy new mod functionality where you can use just a simple spreadsheet to customize pretty much all the content in the game, load it in, and then uh, really make it your own. You can change, you know, a line of text, you can change every piece of content in the game. Now, the next piece was really the theming. So there was like a very basic version of that in the first mod uh, release, but now I've added this fancy new console. Uh, which you get to by hitting settings and clicking view console. And you can change um, all of the main colors of the game. And let me switch to this view to quickly show you how that plays out. So there's this primary color. There's really three main colors, primary, light, and dark. Primary is this main color that's supposed to be the, the kind of brand color of your game, so to speak. Uh, so here you can see in the default game, it's even out here in the, the lobby. It's a bright yellow. It's the color of the official the zone. Then there's light, which is used in cards like these, or cards like these, or cards you know like these that represent the players. And then there's dark, which is used in backgrounds, like full screen backgrounds like these, background of the sidebar. And then there's a section of tints, which let you tweak things even further. I'll show you how that plays out in a second. Um, and then um, the final thing is, this whole system, the reason I'm so happy with it, is that it ensures that whatever colors you pick, you're not going to be able to create a situation where the text is illegible. Um, and that relies on it knowing what the white and the black is. But you can tweak that just to, you know, finesse it um, if, you, if you really want to control every last little thing. So let's say that I've got my game here. And I've, I've, I've done a mod that's more of this like aquatically themed thing. So let's say that I want to make the theme match that. So, you know, I was playing a lot of Subnautica and uh, loving those very kind of yellowy backgrounds for the, the, the kind of underwater machinery. So let's make the UI elements yellow. So we'll take the dark background and make it yellow. You'll notice as I made it yellow, the text switched so it was still visible from white to black. And um, I want these light cards. Let's start making that more like the watery theme. So now I'm just going to tweak them. I'll make them kind of bluish. There we go. And same thing with this. It's little, my primary color, the color of the dark ocean. It's kind of dark blue kind of feel. And um, now the board's feeling a little bit out of place. So let's add some tint to it. So I'm going to increase the opacity of the tint make it this kind of blue as well. And um, if you want, you can even mess with the blend modes so that you can really control like how it affects this color, which is kind of fun. Um, you can do some really weird stuff. And um, also, I want to change the color of the particles that are floating on top of the screen. Yeah, let's, let's make them kind of also the kind of like undersea purple, like deep creatures of the abyss. And uh, let's do the same for the, the, the cursor. This is the cursor that represents the player, which is normally green. Um, yeah, and so you can see how quickly I've been able to make the game look super, super different. Um, and if I want to tweak this text, now it blocks is nice and contrasty, but I can even I can even tweak that. Just do it at your own risk. Like if you're changing the, the black text needs to still be a dark color so that it's still visible. Because um, that's the color that the game will put on top of light items. Um, so I've created my theme. Now I can copy these colors to the clipboard. And we're back to the way you mod the game. So um, uh, here's the base content spreadsheet with all the content of the game. As a reminder, you can find it at guide.thezonerpg.com. In the, the modding guide, it's uh, right here. Uh, the first thing you do when you want to mod the game is you make a copy of the spreadsheet. 
Uh, so let's call it the zone uh, abyss mod. I'd love to have a version of the zone that was the abyss. It'd be kind of cool. Maybe I should make that. And um, cool. so I have all the same content. And I had copied things to the clipboard. So let me scroll down. Here's where the color theme is. Oop. Again. There we go. Copy to the clipboard. Paste. All the colors are now in the right spot. And um, yeah, share. Change it so that the um, the link is visible to anyone with the link, so that the the game can view it. Otherwise, if your spreadsheet is private, it won't work. And now, I'm back in the lobby of the same game. I enter the spreadsheet URL here, click load mod. There we go. All the colors I had are now visible here. And by the way, when you're actually tweaking the themes, it's a good idea to do it here because that way you can see them play out on a few different um, screens at once. That way you're always sure that you've got the, the correct um, colors in mind. These four screens I picked to be a nice kind of um, variety of screens. And, and now when you reload, after you've loaded the mod, it just stays loaded. If you change anything in the spreadsheet, uh, you need to go back and uh, click load mod. You won't know that the spreadsheet changed. But other than that, you know, if, um, if I were to decide that, uh, let me do that. If I wanted to change that uh, blue a little bit or that yellow, Let's tweak it and yeah, make it more greenish and change this to be, yeah, let's look go more abyssal. And um, the info tint is the color of this green right here. So I want to, I want to tweak that as well. Let's see, let's make that more, more purple. Copy the colors again, go back to my spreadsheet, paste. And then hit load mod again. And that's it. Now you've you've got it. You can change uh, the themes to really whatever you want. Um, there's a couple of example themes in the spreadsheet. So um, here's a, a theme I created that is very like a computer terminal from the 80s. So again, paste it here. And then you'll notice if I reload, Wait a second for it to, to, to apply. There we are. Now we've got everything in this kind of like greenish uh, cast. Um, what else? What else do I want to mention about this? So this is all using the basic imagery of the game. Um, I just wanted to make it so that you could change these colors without also having to generate new background images. But as a reminder, you can also control all of the images that show up in the game. So you can really, you can take this even further. And um, yeah, that's it, you know, go have fun. Um, uh, you can change these colors just for a single game, you know, to match your stream overlay or to just, uh, you know, customize it some themes you wanna play out or to the set of locations that are gonna show up or, you know, make a whole total conversion, just really make the game your own. Um, I would love your feedback uh, on this. So um, if you play with it, just let me know. And let me know if there's anything I can build to make it easier to use. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, yeah, have fun making some zones.